Hello everyone and welcome to Smart India Hackathon 2020. In this video, we will be giving an overview of the application called Slack. We will be using Slack during the Smart India Hackathon 2020 for sharing announcements and communicating with teams. What is Slack? Slack is a workplace communication tool, a single place for messaging and sharing files. It is meant for teams and this workplace can be used across multiple devices and platforms. It is equipped with robust features that allow you to not only chat one on one with associates but also in groups. We will be using Slack during Smart India Hackathon for communicating with teams, mentors, companies, evaluators. What is Workspace? As the name suggests, Workspace is the place where all the action is. Slack Workspace is a space that brings together all the channels and chat of a company where all communication, file sharing and conference calls takes place. We have created separate workspace for all the nodal centers. Slack allow communities, groups or team to join a workspace via specific URL or invitation sent by a, a team admin or owner. Workspace name have been created on the name of nodal centers using their initials. For example, one of the nodal center name is Wellinger Institute of Management, Development and Research. So we have taken the initial of the all the first words of and uh, followed by Smart India Hackathon 2020. What are channels? Channels are the way of communicating with one another and with everyone. There are two types of channel in Slack. First channel is called public channel meaning any member can see and join this channel it is an open platform where information shared and discussed is open for all and can be read by anyone this is mostly used for making announcements sharing instructions you can identify a public channel by hash symbol before the name public channels we have created will be used by companies and institutions who have given problem statement for smart india hackathon you can interact with them and seek their guidance in this channel. For SIH 2020, we have kept public channels as per the name of problem statement ID and company name. For example, Mixor has submitted one problem and the problem statement ID is CB31. So we have used CB31 underscore Mixor as the channel name. In order for you to join right public channel, first look for problem ID number and company name then join the channel there are companies who have given multiple problem statements and there will be multiple public channel with the same nodal center within the same nodal center for the company so always look for problem id number you have applied and the company name there is also a social media channel which is also a public channel and can be used by participants to share their experience during the webinar by posting on social media platforms and sharing it in this channel second channel is called private channel which will be used by participants for communicating with each other as the name suggests private channel means only member of that channel can interact and no one outside from outside can uh, interact in this channel it is a closed group channel and can only be joined by invite from member of channel private channels will be used by teams to do private discussions among themselves and sharing their work. You can also add your mentors if you want to private channel for seeking guidance after taking their permission. Private channels can be identified with a lock icon before the name. For SIH 2020, we have created problem channels using problem statement ID. Participants has applied for followed by their team name. We will add a representative from a nodal center to all the private channels created then these representative will have to add the participants in these private channels according to the team name and problem statement they have applied for here are few guidelines using slack if you are creating a new channel always use a underscore as slack doesn't allow to use space second individuals and team members who are joining the slack they need to follow the guideline of putting their name it has to be first name followed by organization name or team name and uh, before adding any mentor to the 
to your private channel we would request you to please seek their permission first and then join them in the group thank you